Hello and welcome back to the channel. So on today's video, we're gonna take you outside there. We have a 2015 Porsche Turbo S. Beautiful car. As you know, I'm a big Porsche fan, so I'm so excited to work on this thing. This particular car, it has a PPF. The entire car is covered with the clear paper and the customer has also previously put ceramic on top of that. However, we're going to do the calipers, we're going to respray the wheels, all the black trim pieces, and all the plastic and the interior. So we have quite a bit of work to do. Uh, we're going to do a, a light pass on the surface with the uh, paint seal and extreme, and then we go behind with the quick detailer plus, put the ceramic on those areas, and do the interior, put the signature one on the interior, clean the carpets and the whole thing, and send her on her way so nevertheless let's go outside and take a look at the porsche turbo s okay and here she is the turbo s and the customer is planning to sell the car 2015 so he brought it to us to do a real good enhancement package all the black stuff the car has a clear PPF the entire car but I'm still gonna polish it the wheels were ceramic but I'm gonna respray them um, I'm gonna spray the calipers I'm gonna all that black stuff I'm gonna redo I'm gonna make her stunning this thing here and then a lot of focus is gonna be done on the interior look at this beautiful interior I love this car so I'm going to put the booster on all these pieces here, polish all of that, polish the glass, the standard package. So this car, it has a performance package. I believe she runs high nines. Um, it has quite a bit of upgrades. There she is. It looks simple and nice, but boy, it'd be nice to trade it for this one here. Huh? Look at that. Go from this to that. That would be phenomenal. All right, so anyways, we gotta get ready. She's gonna go in the garage, and we start the journey um, tomorrow. All right, I got the Turbo S inside the garage. I have not done anything, but I want to get a better assessment here. Outside was too bright and see all of this. It's all dull, so we're gonna take care of that. The black spoiler, all of these things, I'm gonna respray them. I'll show you the wheels before. And then all of this, this is all dirt. All of this in here how dull it is I'm gonna polish the glass I'm gonna do all the interior polish more glass back here we're gonna clean all this and put the boosted So what I'm going to do is, I am going to clean the glass here with the waterless, put the swirl remover, and then take it outside and do the cleaning. So different approach, usually I do it outside, but I'm inside with the air conditioner, so why not? I'm going to put the booster here too, and I'm going to take a measurement, it has PPF the whole car, I want to take a quick measurement to show you guys. Alright, so here you have it with the PPF look at that so usually these cars better right here 10 6 usually these cars are in the 4.5 4.3 and with the paper look at the extra layer of protection that they give you so ceramic coating is good 
but the true only way to protect the entire car is to put the wrap, the clear wrap. The downside is that although some companies say that you can have 10 years, 15 years, lifetime or whatnot, um, from our experience, after about five years, you need to replace them and it's very expensive to replace. So it's your call. But that, that's a nice fun fact to have there. All right, so with different approach, we're gonna go with the waterless first when it's splashing there, then the oxidation block, just simply gonna glide back and forth. We're gonna do that to all the glass. Then we're gonna go behind it with the Sweat Remover Pro X. I did a test spot here already. And look at this, just stunning already just from that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do all the glass like that. First step, then I'm gonna take her outside and wash her well, and then come back in. All right, let's see if we can listen to this. Right there. You can see immediately removing all the, listen to this. Removing all the surface contaminants, three sab, and everything else and then when we go over with the sweat remover it will look beautiful the windows is something that enhance a car a lot a lot of people don't pay attention to that and there you see right here look at that just magic in front of your eyes Look at that glass. Wow. Look at that. This is just the little water left there, but we haven't polished it yet. So we continue. The swirl remover, a lot of water spots, and look at this. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Got a few more here, so we will address them. All right, black foam pad with the paint seal and extreme, and slow speed, and we go. The entire thing Rapid panels, glass, roof, everything and everything. All right, so she is all sealed up. You see the product is cute in there. The Turbo Wax Paint Seal and Extreme. So she has a clear wrap and they put a ceramic coating on top. They did a very good job. So I'm just adding another layer sacrifice your layer on top sacrificial layer on top and uh, i'm gonna let this sit for about 10 15 minutes and remove it and let's see if we can extract a lot of shine out of her and then we're gonna move away and start putting the boosted on all the touch up pieces that we want to do for our customer prior to moving to the interior the glass is polished but everything is covered right now with the Pencil and extreme. Okay, moving along. I ceramic coated all of these surfaces. Look at how beautiful they're looking. Everything black. This guy black. All of that black. Look at how beautiful it looks. Compared to the other side. I did back here too. Look at this. Looking beautiful already. I'm making my way, see? It looks all dullish. It doesn't look nice. It doesn't look nice. A lot of time and effort, but she's coming along phenomenal. Right here. All right, we continue. 
All right, so we continue on. We're gonna do the plastic trim here. You can see how dull it is. I show you already the other side. So I just wanna pause for a minute and, and tell you a little bit about these applicators. So it's a dual side applicator. It's like a microfiber and it has like a plastic on the back side of this. So I've been testing them. They work phenomenal. You can use it with a Boosted 2.0. There's nothing wrong with them. I really like that it has two sides, right? However, when you bought purchase or kit, it comes with four microfiber like this. So what we're saying is this little one here, if you use it properly, you will get out of it one, two, you flip it, three and four. So if you have four of them, you will have a lot more of this available to you versus this one here. So if I was going to change to this, I can only include one of them, meaning that if you're doing a car, let's say like sometimes I do, that I do half a car today and half tomorrow because our coating will self-level it and you won't see a difference. So now you're gonna run into trouble because you might be able to use the other side, but that's the end of the story. That's it, you, you can do anything else. Unless you have an abundance of this, I will prefer, I will stick to this. So anyway, so here we got the, the trim and the plastic trim, most of them, they have some type of ink from the factory and with the UV rays and especially here in South Florida, uh, they take a beating and eventually they get dull like this. So the boosted, which you can apply on plastic trim surfaces, will not only protect the surface, it will also revive the surface. And uh, since this is a semi-permanent product, it will stay there. So what we're saying is, okay, you can put the boosted, it will be phenomenal. However, if you like to extend the life, just like the surface, go ahead and put the T2. So that's just a little tip here. And as usual, we're just gonna put a little bit of product and simply we're gonna put it in. And what I do on these plastic trims, I don't go back and level them. I let, I let the piece absorb the uh, coating and then if needed, I will put a second application and you can see already looking stunning. So that's just a tip there. So we continue. Okay, moving along under the hood and we're gonna vacuum all of these, clean all of these and we're gonna put the booster on all of these. So if you caught in a job on these cars and you're gonna offer to put ceramic account for this, this takes quite a bit of product just to make sure you cover the entire surface. And then another thing that I like to point out that depending on the vehicle, sometimes we polish under the hood, sometimes we go with the quick detailer, sometimes we go with the TC one or waterless. So on this particular car, because of my customer, I want to do the best job that I can and as you can see there's some streaks in there so I'm going to clean all of that with the waterless I'm going to do a quick polish and then I'm going to finish with the TC one so what this is going to do is when we show the car to the customer he's going to see all of this and you get the transition underneath there that all that is done shiny protected and looking good and there's the trim already that I did earlier, looking good. So, yeah, we continue trying to, to do uh, the best job that we can, trying to do a be better job than the previous job. So, it's a never ending saga. She's looking real, real nice. Look at this, PPF, all polish it with the paint sealant. But no, we continue, we have to do this and a few other things, so we continue to record the journey and I'm also packing stuff so it's all kinds of crazy stuff going on okay okay and here you have a 50 50 that whole area coated non coated with the boosted right here looking beautiful all of that done so there you have it big difference
right, part of the interior detailing, and we're using the Ultima interior shampoo. Phenomenal product for all the interior carpet and everything else. So we're just simply gonna spray on the pedals, and with a soft brush, we're gonna clean all of that stuff. You can do it via steaming steam machine. You can do it with the waterless. But since I'm going to be doing the interior, I wanted to use this product and then on this area too, I'll clean all this, leave it, a, give, give it a small splash. I'll just clean away. I'll go behind with a damp microfiber towel, wipe the excess off and down we go. It would look beautiful. I will show later on the end result here real close. Okay, moving along to the interior. All of this carbon fiber, all of this silver stuff, everything and everything on the inside we're going to do. This is a Turbo S. This is my favorite car. And I'm just getting wrapped into the car. It's taking me away. And I'm doing a job like if I was going to keep it. Every job has a story. But this one is just getting to my heart. I love the Turbo S. I'm a Porsche fan. So I'm just trying to take her to another level. Customer put the trust on me. He wants to sell the car. So he um, requested the interior to be flawless. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go all the way out of my way to try to deliver what is going to be probably the best interior job that I have ever done. And that is because I'm getting wrapped around the car and how much I like this car. It's just a stunning car. I can stop thinking about it. It's just beautiful, very elegant, powerful. So we're going to put the booster on all these pieces, let it dry, come back behind it. I already polished all of this, and then we continue on on the inside. So, as usual, the booster doing this thing. And we continue. And we continue on the interior, and this piece here. Probably nobody ever will know that this ceramic coated, but when the customer or new customer open these cup holders, he will see a beautiful black, shiny, protected surface. Especially if they're going to be putting drinks in here. So, again, going all the way out with the Turbo S. Look at that, looking beautiful already. Look at this interior, oh my goodness. Okay, we continue. Okay, the booster again. When I polished it earlier, the beautiful of this coating, I can do all this carbon fiber and all these black pieces, one product. So, this is going to look real, real nice. White with black. Look at the plastic already coming alive. Carbon fiber, look. Oh. Boosted. All right. And here you can see that we have there the RP1. Look at how nice it looks. This is the dry side. So... The door is done. Look at how stunning this looks. So with the boosted and the RP1, look at that. Beautiful. I'm gonna cover this up, but look at the difference there. Non-greasy, leather scent. All right, moving along, we did the first pass getting all the heavy stuff out 
and we did that with this guy here phenomenal product but then you can see here it's hard to see I still see some some black stuff especially in the in the inserts right there so I want to see if I'm gonna do it with the steam second step see if I can get it to this quality right here this is already coated look at this thing just beautiful all right moving along and we got the boosted already clean all the surface and now we're gonna do the application the small rag microfiber and I tell you it's so satisfying to be able to do this in a two hundred thousand dollar car I mean it's a complete complete makeover and as you applying this stuff you see the changes and you can use it on all this surface it won't hurt anything contrary it will protect it and let me tell you a fun fact a fun fact is that the steering wheel has more germs than a public toilet in New York City so if you don't believe me go google that um, you know we always got our hands contaminated and uh, with germs and we always touching the steering wheel and whatnot so that's a fun fact fun fact so I continue here all the carbon fiber everything and everything that I can put this to make it look good for my customer I want to really as usually do a good job for them and this thing is looking stunning as always but the interiors by far I have spent a lot of time I still gotta do the door jams but uh no, we continue the never-ending quest okay and that's a wrap with the turbo s fully done ppf and ceramic coated wheels tires glass plastic trim engine bay interior everything and everything interior done with the signature one polish all the carbon fiber everything and everything looking phenomenal the turbo s so there's another one done and uh, we're moving on to the next one so thank you for watching don't forget you can check us online turbowax.com until next time